What's up guys, it's your boy Handy Kill Cam, and today I want to talk to you about all the Astro 850X questions that have been in my comments. First and foremost, let's get this out of the air. The Astro 850X headset, they're not a pro headset. And what I mean is, they're not meant for com super competitive gaming. Now here, let me show you what I mean. So, for example, if you get the, if you have, for example, if you have the uh, Logitech Pro X, Pro X 2 or Pro X 1 headset, right? They have 6.1 surround sound. These, however, they do not. These are just stereo. So, let me show you. What do you mean? Let me show you. The advanced these are only dual, you can't, you can't put 6.1 six, six, 6 surround sound on these. Now, if you got the Pro X wireless headsets, you can do 6.1 or 7.1, even with the JBLs, right? Because I do have JBLs as well. I don't use them, but for example, you do have 6.1, 7.1 so, uh, surround sound. These you do not. These only have... These are only two point. These are only headphones. These are only you only get dual, you only get two two channels, right? So with that said, guys, no matter what you do, it's gonna be harder to hear heads head, uh, like footsteps, right? Yes, you can do this, and yes, it's going to be make it better. But you're just turning frequencies up and down. You're not necessarily separating the noise. And you'd be like, what do you mean? So when you have 6.1 or true 7.1 surround, it's more than one speaker in your left ear or your right ear. It's separating the noise. But if you're just using one with a dual channel with headphone, that's not 7.1 or 6.1 like the JBLs or like the Pro X, if you want to stay with Logitech, because Astro is Logitech, the Pro X wireless ones, they all each have 6.1. That you get more sound separation. So it's more of a pro type setting. Yes, you get less bass, but if you're playing a competitive game, you don't want a lot of bass anyways. Now, with that said, what is this headset meant for? This headset is meant for people that have multiple consoles or multiple multiple things hooked up you're not gonna, you're not taking this headset you're not taking the astro a50 headset to an event you're not going to use this for an esports competition okay. this is for your casual gaming kicking it with your homies or if you're casually if you stream and you have a multiple multiple systems where you might play on the playstation someday you might play on the Xbox one day. You might play on your PC. That's what this is made for. That's the main selling point of the Astro A50Xs is the HDMI switch hub. It's because you could switch it from the to the PlayStation to the Xbox, etc. These are not meant to where you hear cross map. Astro Honestly, Astro has been out of that out of that game for a while. I would say since the Astro TRs. So with that said, you don't have a preset button here on the headset. You can't change the presets. You can't change. You can't hit. It's not like the Astro A fifties back in the day where you have a, a preset and you can just change it. My equalizer that I use this equalizer. I use it for everything. I don't just use it for Call of Duty. I use it for everything that I play, right? The only way to change the equalizer at this moment in time is with the app, right? You don't have a button. You can't change it with a button. And the app, the Logitech G Hub app does not work with this headset. I've tried. So you can't, you're pretty much kind of stuck, to be honest with you. 
if you're going to be using this on PlayStation 5 or play on Xbox. As far as the equalizer side goes, you're pretty much stuck unless you can connect it to a PC. However, you have to understand the equalizer information, all the information, all the brain of the headset is stored in the actual base. It is not stored in the headset. So your base has to be plugged into the headset, not into the PC. Not, and my PC went to sleep. Sorry. Not having the headset plugged in to the, into a cord. That will not update any type of equalizer or anything like that. The equal, all that stuff is stored into the base of the headset. So your base of the headset, which is the thing that charges your headset, needs to be plugged into a PC if you're going to use the equalizer. With that said, if you're going to do that, you need the PC, you need not the PC, you need the headset to be on, meaning you have to turn on the on switch. Because it, look, if you turn off the headset, it's going to say disconnected, although it's not now, but well, it's not now. So maybe sometimes you, you, you'll get that. Maybe you won't. If you do get that, if you don't get that, then you're lucky, you're blessed, and then you, you're fine. You can switch that. But as long as the base is plugged into the PC, you can do this. As you see, my headset is completely off. It's off. Okay, it's off right now, but my base is plugged into the PC. Okay, so with that said, let's create an equalizer. All right, now, like I said, this is not going to give you supersonic hearing, and I'm going to make it simple for everybody. I'm going to leave it on the simple form. Boom, it's just that simple. Do cuts in the base, do this, raise the mids up a little. These are your mid frequencies. These are your highs. The, the, over here is your highs. You want to lower your highs. Okay. All your gun noise is your highs. Meaning your bullets, your shots, all that is your highs. Your footsteps, they're going to live in the mids. Your explosions, they live in the base. Okay. This is for all games. Nine times out of ten. You do something... You don't even got to follow this setup. You do something like this, it's going to make it better. Now, it's not going to give you the PC type super hearing thing that everybody uses in Warzone. Okay? Because no headset can give you that out of the box. The super hearing that everybody gets in Warzone, all the PC players get in Warzone, they use different type of technology. A different... They use stuff that's downloaded on their PC. No headset can do it out of the box. All you're doing here is you're turning down frequencies and you're making cer certain frequencies louder. However, you are not separating frequencies. You are not canceling frequencies. These programs that are on PC that people use for Warzone and other games that give them super hearing, these programs are canceling certain frequencies these programs are separating certain frequencies logitech can't do that out of the box astro can't do that out of the box turtle beach cannot do that out of the box any gaming headset you buy at walmart or online cannot do that out of the box the only way you can do that is by downloading certain programs on a pc and using those now that's a different video for a different day I don't necessarily use that stuff. I'm not really playing first person shooters at the moment, but that's just, if you want to find out how to, there are more experienced people that use these programs every day, not this program, because this is technically not a program, this is just a hub. But there are programs, there are people that use programs that separate sounds, that, that cancel certain sounds. An equalizer, does not cancel oh my god an equalizer does not cancel sounds i can turn this all the way down and it's not going to take the bass completely out it, it won't be as present but the bass is still there it's not removing anything it's just turning it down no equalizer can do this 
Guys, equalizers have been around since 1990, 1980. This is nothing, there's nothing new and nothing special here. You cannot break your headset here. You cannot do something to your headset to where it's to the points of no return. All you're doing is turning it up and turning it down. And here's something that's gonna blow your mind. I could give you my best presets, right, that I use, right? But at the end of the day, your ears are different than mine. I'm almost 40 years old, so the sound frequencies that I hear are way different than yours. So again, because it's the equalizer, you're just turning things up and turning things down. Now, I'm not saying that I can't help you, I'm not saying, but this is, there's not much anymore anybody can do with the Astro A50s than now. You can download these other programs that other people use that separate noises and that cancel certain frequencies, yes. But I don't because I don't need to. There's no reason for me to. Uh, sorry, my PC keeps going to sleep. So I wish I could help you guys more. I wish there was more for me to, to, to help you guys with. But unfortunately, as cool as these headsets are they are expensive let's be honest but they are very limited because they're not they're not the pro series they're not the pro series they're not a pro series so you're not going to get like an eq switcher button on the side you're not going to be getting an app that you can trigger an eq for your console the way this is supposed to be is you're supposed to have this hooked up to your PC and your console at the same time. That's the whole point, is that it's supposed to be multiply hooked up at everything at once. So you're supposed to have this hooked up to a PC and a PlayStation or Xbox or all three at the same time and you switch. Or even if you don't play on PC, you still have it hooked up to a PC so you can mess with the equalizer and you just switching between the inputs that's what this is mainly made for it's not made for for you to go and win win millions and millions of dollars and become this major you're not going to hear people like cross map i'm saying and that's just that's just the truth i wish i could be like one of those content creators and, and give you this whole hoop love oh if you do this and do that you'll automatically win your games no, because that's not what this headset is. But no headset that you buy on the market can do that off rip. All the things that you see people doing on Warzone and, and Apex and and Rainbow Six that play on PC, they're using stuff that separates noise and that separates and that cancels certain frequencies. And a lot of times those headsets already have a helper that has 7.1 surround sound or 6.1 surround sound. This headset does not support 6 or 7 point surround sound. The Pro X Wireless 1s or the Pro X Wireless 2s from Logitech does. I am, um, go ahead and if you guys want to see certain presets just for you guys, we'll do it. But I'm going to tell you that, um, can't uh we go and we look right hold on trying to there we go so if we go and we look rainbow six r6 we'll just put r6 right see they're not there's no, no r6 there but if you put rainbow oh wait what's going on oh i'm on my mic my bad <laughs> i was like wait that's my fault r6 see? this is what you got this is what you can use now unfortunately like and convert that to the easy numbers and you'll be like well why can't you convert that to the easy numbers because for the specific reason is see this okay you know how i made this and if you go to advance you see there's more lines right so that just means you're turning you're able to turn down more frequencies okay what that person is trying to do is just turn down more frequencies now i'm going to tell you what i use i'll show you what i use and it's just the same thing. Raise up the mids, lower the lows, cut the highs. And you're gonna use that pretty much at any 
first person shooter. That's a simple wave. And try it out. Test it out. Experiment. See what works for you. It's not, there's no secret sauce. I know you guys are like, find the secret sauce. And you're like, man, I know if I just have this one EQ, you know, I'm going to be able to hear everybody. No, because that's not how they do that. Like I said, they use special programs that cut out certain frequencies and separate certain frequencies. There's no headset on the market that can do that right now. It, it turns down frequencies, but it doesn't eliminate frequencies. It doesn't eliminate or doesn't separate the frequency. And you can't separate a frequency in a headset anyways that doesn't support 6.1 surround. Or doesn't have 7.1 surround because the driver doesn't support sound separation. So automatically, if you're buying a headset for sound separation to have isolated sounds in certain sections, I hate to be the bearer of the bad news, but you bought the wrong headset. You have to at least have a headset that has 7.1 or 6.1 surround sound and not software based. Not software based, not something that is um, a sound sta sound stage program, like a digital sound stage. Something that has native seven point one, six point one surround sound, and you just you just not you just not gonna get that out of this. Now, can you make these sound good? Yeah. Do they sound good out of the box? Yeah. Do I rock these every day? Yeah. Do I like this headset? Yeah. But again, I know what I'm buying and I understood what this headset is for but i feel like a lot of people didn't realize what this headset was for and they think that you know just you know everybody and and fry has now does that mean that astro has never done that before oh yeah trs and the astro a50s those were like the best ones but you know is went in you know, a different direction at this point in time and they have not released a newer pro headset as far as of right now and um with that said i you know, hope this isn't uh, damper but i just wanted to share with you guys um quickly and kind of all y'all's questions um like sorry for the screen going black my computer is going to sleep i just wanted to get this video out um and answer y'all's questions because i don't want y'all to think i'm ignoring you um like, i appreciate you guys uh if you enjoyed the video make sure to drop a like and or subscribe we're at 333 subscribers and i appreciate you guys i'm handy kill cam saying peace